different journey. Down will calm your tension. drastically different. I only really changed the LSD and then the gearing again. Ah, uh, one Danny gave me. But as I said, I, I haven't got much of the true or the suspension or anything similar to his because I just I felt the car was too overreactive. Yeah. Whereas this, like especially as you know, you've seen after following Amazing Hour, you just try and keep it smooth. Smoother the better. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. I'm also just trying to get a bit more speed out of it. Um, it's definitely like yeah, it feels a bit more handly And if I can have less input, but I'm also trying to see if it gets me more speed here
like I can feel feel it a lot more through there that it's it's handling a lot more like but it's fine through there I started to feel it honestly in the last lap and I'd made mis some mistakes so If anything at this point I'm, I'm thinking I might go minus one Because it was the rears that were overworn Especially with race settings, anyways. Yeah, it's not hooking in early enough compared to what it usually does. horrible in the last sector.
felt really good. off your time. Loves it. Probably. to be joking. Oh. Car is so light right now.
seconds for no tyres and fucking 3.5 laps. Hey. Nothing, I was just going flat out. I was just trying to go fast because I had this new LSD settings. And I mean, I was at least able to push 15 by myself, like without draft or anything, pretty close to what you did. Um, but no, if anything, you could say I'm just running a full race strap, except I've pitted late. Pitted a lap seven. just a bit when you're braking go into that first into that turn there it, it just feels like it's fucking uh, it takes too long to respond to um, kind of put the power back down and get around the turn compared to the setting I had before with the LSD everything else seems fine you know, and I'm running pretty quick laps for running solo was like 10, 40, 20 or something like that and I just made it the <clears throat> 5, 25, 25. It definitely feels like I'm able to go into that turn so much quicker now. I'm struggling to like keep the, where I'm meant to apply the throttle through there. And then yeah, I'm really struggling here. Oh, are you sure about, um, are you sure about that? Quite amusing to me right now.
Oh, you just got to commit to it a bit earlier. All right, I see. Nah, the right-hander, um, the real tight one, after the S's, the fast tight one. Oh, full tilt! Rear wheels spinning fucking rubber all over the wall. lap is nearly 15, 16 two. so yeah I ran, besides lap 2, I ran nothing but 16s, ran a 15 obviously, yeah, yeah, how did I not break my car, oh there we go, down here It is, isn't it? The bloody clown. I was just looking for information on him. What's true Pagetti? Or do you just, is that just like another thing we can say now for Chopagetti? Meadow just popped up in the stream. this until his Kenty race is done. What do you got this week, Matter? Of Danny saying, yeah, oh, there is that one of them. Yeah, oh, I seen Spaghetti heaps, true Spaghetti. That's fucking mad. Thinking Gettysburg or something. I told you, man, the captions are like on point. I mean, I can understand what Danny's saying, but those captions are just ruthless. Oh, that's right, bastard. But yeah, those captions, they're gold. You need to get, like, footage of that. Pretty funny. Hey, the clown's fucking showing off. Joking in the Porsche. You've got to be joking. Give us a flash of the lights if you're there, buddy. Meet me. Some windshield wipers. Bit of a swerve. Something. Mate. 
I can. Yeah, thanks, mate. Your top split fucking dildo. It's a nice looking car, to be honest. I like it. I've done a few Pennywise cars, never on the GT40. I think I did the Super and the, the FT1. Thing. Yeah, it's it's awesome when you've got a face of Pennywise, like, well, any face on the front of your car, but Pennywise's works fucking really well. Yeah, yeah, it scared me as a kid too. Look at it go, mate. Yeah, I, mate, I was the same age, bro. I seen fucking Freddy at that age. I remember I'd literally have like a distinctive childhood memory of my dad like um, watching Freddy in the lounge room and like freaking out and, and like not liking it and going into the, the other room and my sister's watching it in the kitchen. I was like, ah! Ah! Seen Candyman when I was like fucking when that come out, 91, something like that, pretty much seen that the year it come out. Summer 92, something like that. I've seen way too much shit that I shouldn't have seen at a young age, but that turned out alright. Fucking Predator, mate. Uh, my dad liked the Freddy movies. I think he liked Robert England. Candyman was yeah. My sisters like forever after that, you know, were like in the mirrors and shit. Same as like the Bloody Mary, fucking legend. Yeah, my older sister was like that too. My um middle sister took me to see Six Sense when I was like twelve. <laughs> And yeah, same, three years older than me. And then my oldest was five years older than me. But they were both kind of into it. Yeah, I remember seeing it because like they literally had it on, on VHS um, like that January. So yeah, six or seven, same thing. If it came out 92, then it was like the January of 93 that I watched it. I mean, at the same time, you're watching, like, fucking Jurassic Park, so, like, whatevs. I actually went to the, with my missus, I went to the, they had it at the exhibition centre, the, like, live-action Jurassic Park thing. And they actually had a bit where they, like, ushered you into, like, what was basically a scene, even included, like, nighttime and stormy uh, outside the T-Rex pen. And they had, you know, a puppeteer, 40 odd foot fucking dinosaur come out and me and my missus were like yay and there was all these parents with their fucking kid and the amount of babies that started screaming and like there's like thunder claps and all the lighting's flashing and this fucking giant t-rex is coming stomping out i was just like this is the best thing ever and these kids are dying they're traumatized way worse than we ever could have been watching it on a movie Yeah, Chucky was great, but like even, I mean the first one, yeah, maybe, and then after that, um, Jerda, lol, Jerda. Whatever, knob.
Yeah, critters are alright. Seen the, um... Uh, what were the other like tremors and shit? All that. Loved gremlins. Yeah, my missus is into that, bro. Like, she's got... Her whole movie collection's built entirely around fucking, you know, all the major horror franchises, essentially. Whereas mine's, like, more built around fucking, like, huge movies, all the award winners of, like, the 80s and 90s, the movies I brought up with, um, and then all my fucking DC and Marvel and cult movies, Tarantino, that's both of us. But yeah, speaking of, like, both of them, right here, man. I mean, all I have to do is turn around. We got... Good old... Ah, oh, you can't even see. Hang on. Give me a sec. Hush, I is... Okay. That little fucker, straight up behind me, pretty fucking sick for a pop, to be honest. And then, speak of the devil and he shall appear, little, little fuck. These are like a few rare ones. Um, I have one meta that you would, and again, horror theme, but you would so fucking love, regardless of what you think of pops. Evil Groundskeeper Willy, Treehouse of Horror, like all this shit's just fucking sitting around all around me. And she's got like fucking. Where is he? How do I make him do his thing? So yeah, she's obsessed, mate. Also, she has this, um, was it Michael, yeah? She's got this Michael, and he has the world's greatest mullet. I love it. So there's Michael, who's creepy as fuck. But check out that hair on Michael. Look at that mullet, that John Travolta-esque fucking Jason Dunstall mullet. Look at that. Michael's rocking that shit. How good is it? Yeah, all our stuff is like mixed all over the place, but she she's the horror. Oh, 100 percent I'd agree now. Like we'll probably get rid of a lot the next time I fucking move. That we just went through, I mean we'll cosplayers, bro. We went through our stages where we collected fucking anything and everything. The amount of stuff I have in front of me, like the helmets, statues. Oh yeah, and I remember, like this, you'd fucking die for him. <laughs> Look at this shit. This motherfucker right here is literally the most expensive. I didn't pay for it, but it's the most expensive fucking figure of anything in my collection. It's a character from Metal Gear, um, the ninja cyborg character. Raiden. 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 But it's sick. So yeah, got heaps of that shit. Got an American Psycho fucking one on the other side just over there that you'd probably love meta. I know you like that. It's Hannibal Lecter shit everywhere. Like even Aside from like the horror stuff when it comes to that just that genre of the shit we grew up with like fucking back to the future aliens I'm big on the alien stuff. I've got a lot of Xenos and um, Predators and shit like that She's even got X-Files Got a lot of Game of Thrones stuff too Got a lot of nice big fucking 10 inch statues of them yeah, it was weird, man, because I kind of went through, like, my, you know, later teenage years, early adult years, pretty shittily. It was, like, when I got myself good and got into things I liked, it was, like, oh, my sister summed it up best, like, I was living the childhood that I wish I had. 
I mean, I don't play with them, never play with any of them. They're just shit that I own, and I love it. No worries. No worries, mate. Jokin's in the uh, GT now. But yeah, there's a lot of that shit. Like even you know, the fucking group, 3D printed, 3D printed, custom hand painted. so good. It costs like 20 bucks. And it's so realistic. Show me the money. Fuck off, Jerry. I know I've got it's another two that you'd absolutely love better. First is this guy. Turn him around. Still in the box, never opened. They call it the Marvel Legends series. The back of it, like the whole thing, the whole box is just the sickest thing in the world, like, and we got it when one of the um, Toys R Us's was closing down, so it was majorly discounted, but yeah, it is one of the sickest, like, most legitimate, like, compared to the cartoon figures I've ever seen, and it's big, real big, then I've got a Gambit too, that's a bit smaller, but made by the same dudes. There he goes. But yeah, it's pretty dope. And then everything else is just... I've got a lot of masks and helmets and a lot of fucking... I mean, even the, the Batman behind me, you just can't see it, but there's a Loki crown on him. If you could just make out this, like, yeah, it's the Morton Joe mask. Um, yeah, a lot of dumb shit. Yeah, they were sick, those cards, dude. I remember them. Yep, yeah, I 100% remember them. They were off their head, those cards. They were probably my first, like, introduction to like that style of um, uh, animation and comics and shit like even Mad and everything else that came with it um, I remember you breathe them <sighs> I remember they also had like fucking glow in the dark ones and shit like that that was a similar thing heat related Yeah, I definitely remember them. Mad and Tarzos was a thing. I mean, I was already into cards at that point, comics. We had a lot of, like, we collected sporting cards. My sister got basketball and got me into them, and then footy cards, and I had all the, all the Marvel cards at the same time. Pennywise just said, where's that meta bleep, little bleep, lol. There you go. Another top split driver that doesn't like you, mate. 
No, I don't know what Gab's doing. Apparently he's playing enlisted. Um, there's no party now because it was just me and Wolf and e bolt just joined. Tarzos were dope. Pogs. All that shit. Even now I've got heaps of like miniature oddities that are just like that. Like even I collected the Matchbox cars and shit. <clears throat> I've got like Star Wars and movie cars and all this shit if it's Matchbox or Hot Wheels. Going on. How are ya? Cooked. It's a bit warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's going to fight ya, Pennywise. I was looking for the fucking V decal lounge, I need it again. How good's the car though, guys? Seriously. Parent advisory, explicit content. Cowboy shit, jester. I like it. done a lot of Hyundai's but that's fucking sick. Oh, I'm just grabbing a drink. <laughs> He's in the Alpine. Are you kidding me? Looks mint.
Jesus. You're on controller? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Get him, <laughs> he's coming for ya. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> What is this dickhead doing? Good job. Okay, you got a hot one here. Hey. Is you gotta be joking on a hot one flat or uh, probably yeah.
by, mate. So why are you driving that? Just having some fun. Is that not allowed in these top split lobbies? No top split here, mate. Except Pennywise. Pennywise. Giving me a hard time. It's a bully. <laughs> I think he doesn't like your car. So it's a nice car. It is a Very nice car, guy. but he's he appeared like he was much bigger than you when he was chasing you. Okay. You mean you you're driving a French car. I was gonna pick the Tundra, but I don't have one. <laughs> and what, you couldn't go spend the 40k? <laughs> I wasn't going to put that much effort. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, just watching you go through the hills like turn and the back's going, the front's going, the front's back's going, the front's going. I'm trying to get in the hang of this. This is fun. It looks mint, turn. like you look like Nicky Lauda driving that car with the chick in Rush. Schnell, <laughs> yeah. Schnell. See if I can get through here without doing a 360. Get the last one to two laps. Oh god. Last time I drove a manual on a controller, it was the original Formula One game. Oh, you're on a controller? Yes, I'm on the controller. <laughs> okay, that expects. <laughs> so my pedal stopped working last night all of a sudden, and I turned it on and off, and they started up again. I broke both my legs today, so no more wheel driving for me. Lol, are you serious? Yes, Justin, I'm serious. Okay. This is how I thought I'd tell all you guys by coming out here and cutting up laps in this Alpine quick control. This is yeah, gonna be a decent this is gonna be believable. a decent lap. This is only gonna be like ten seconds off um off, off you guys, I think. Let's see what you can do there with the push. Go. I'll Eleven catch up and push you. Mate, you fucking bump draft him, you'll kill him. He'll go for, like like he just did. That's what will happen with you, if you bump draft him. <laughs> yeah, considering you guys are like so much quicker in a straight line. Than me, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much bigger it is, and a GT40 is not a big car. I, have to, I don't know where to break 200. I just before the 100. Get sweaty using this than it does um control uh wheel i feel you too i get like that when i'm playing enlisted now disgusting oh gross 
<laughs> quick. I didn't think it would be that quick. Guys, just take that flat. <laughs> yep. Seems like I cannot. You can't, you can't make corrections, like, as yeah, soon as I'm like, with the sticks. yeah, when you're seeing these sticks, it's just like, as soon, maybe the sensitivity's up too high or something, but yeah, as soon as I'm like, oh, it turned in a little bit too much, I'll try and turn away from it, it's just like, yep, okay, now you're facing the barrier the opposite direction. Oi, thank you. I could never use the sticks to steer, I could, to accelerate, brake, but I was always on the... The pad. Using the direction pad, oh wow. And I could probably get used to it. I don't think I'd ever get anywhere near my pace on the wheel though. Respect to people who play on the pad and are so quick. Pretty amazing. You know what, Meta? What? You're amazing. I don't know. Do you know why you're amazing? Because I'm beautiful. Yes, that too. That's, that's one of the many reasons. Uh, but no, because you, you named your YouTube page nearly 10 years ago after Metal Gear, and Metal Gear wasn't even a thing. You had like foresight to to <laughs> I know. understand who your uh, your god is going to be idols. in the next yeah in the next decade, and you thought, no, nah, I'm going to beat him. I am the Meta Seven Gear. Oh god, <laughs> that sounded insane. <laughs> Sounds like it's still going. Yeah, it was. All right, my hands are too sweaty for this. <laughs> Gross. I'm gonna go put some food in the oven, so I'll be back in a minute.
So that type of speedy, you guys getting on the straight. Yeah, that um, logo fits really nicely on your bonnet. Hey, Justin. setups and stuff. Race a standing start just for a laugh. That's rolling, isn't it? I don't think I'll be able to tell you what my top speed is down this tunnel straight because you can't even make it. So, would you actually do a race meta in that, or...? No, I'm not going to race on the controller. What's that? Fucking 15 seconds off you guys. 
make it a stand and start, then you'll get in front. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, until we're like halfway down the hill. <laughs> as long as I can ram Pennywise, that's all I care about. I had another customer today be like, Did you work all day? And I was like, Yeah. And she's like, How do you still have some? This thing has a zero traction for the docks, though. Is your cars like that? Yeah, it's real. Real, real slidey. Loady. to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, I was just about to switch into the GT40. <laughs> Do it on control still. Yeah. Told you I broke my legs. Alright, spectate. I'll be the race steward for Michael Massey if you will. Yeah, well, fucking watch this clown. What is it with that, um, takeoff? <laughs> That's right, the board sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 40 k per hour. Low right? talk.
Mandatory pit stop, right? Yep. yep. You guys aren't trying to save fuel, though. No. Will you have to change tires? No. no. So just stop for fuel, basically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was fucking standing him hard. He was in Like, and was you know, great. when I was in front, was... I was blocking, but when Chuppagetti was in front, he was whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. It was entertaining. He did a, such a good job. Even he was, he was impressed with us in quality, then he was impressed with us in the charge through the pack. Yeah, and a little practice thing before the um, the race, he was like, Meta, he's contender for the podium. I was like, oh, that's such a nice thing to hear, considering the build. I mean, I wouldn't have got it if, obviously, Danny and Cease had raced. I think I would have still beaten Ace. It didn't seem like his pace was like, super incredible or anything. Probably would have battled with him for the, the podium. So. But yeah, to be honest, like I, I watched back the my replay and just for the most part, me and MCA ran the exact same pace. The beamer just did that little bit better on the fuel for each of the stints. Riding your ass like a monkey on a yeah, no, he's up elephant in that corner. I figured I wasn't catching him. Might as well see if we can. Ooh, that's wide. He's gonna get it around. Look at that nice four-wheel drive. Oh, look at that sliding. Is he gonna keep it together? Oh, it just hits the back of him. Right at the right time. Daddy Jester. <laughs> yeah. And bang, bang into the wall. Yeah. That looks really nice though. So you guys hit the wall. It's really good. Oh, so I'm for the fastest lap. That's my oven here. Right Thank you. 
You're all pretty close on fuel. Gav's used the most. Uh, Pennywise has used the most. up on gas. Your front left is doing the worst of the three of them, but... Just because I've got a front brake balance. Okay, yeah. So you said that um, My rear tired. left was playing problems for me in the last race. Not really an issue, right? So, Gav only much. got for 140 through there. Yeah, yeah I've, I've just compared to everyone else, I seem to be bad there. Make sure you've, you're already turning around it before you come to the turn. Yeah, okay. I take Sorry, it mate. this squad. Right. GT40 had a lot more I'll grip. pump the shit out yeah, of it. Clown has purple middle sector. I did. I did. He's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks to delivery, Lounge. Looks pretty mid. Find me a V fucking decal. Got one on my other account. Oh, anyone is into the pits. Oh, I nailed it. Little chance for you to catch up here. Yeah.
Armour, is that that female friend? Yeah. Well, there you go. At least it's in cash. What are they, what, what are they selling to do that? Seven kill for the little clown. Seventy-two. Gave me a couple seconds. What did he do? Seventy-seven. And he was tires or less. Um, no, he didn't take tires. He just took like nine percent more fuel than what you did. God damn train. Yeah, so his lap is a second and a half slower than yours. That's I guess the difference in the bit. Turn dirty. second gear through this entire section. The GT can do a no stop. We had a guy before that did it, a Spaniard. A plus Spaniard. We have to stop. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to stop, Lancey. So gotta love that yeah. turn. You could fuel map in these cars, right? Yeah. You can feel safe too. Just short shift them. Actually, it looks pretty fun. This car. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be hard, but it looks like you guys have a fair bit of a grip. He's just like 22, uh, second gear, about... Yeah, well that's alright, I'm faster than him through there. Every lap. 40% all the whole time. He lost a couple of tenths. Oh, that was shocking. Mm -hmm. Front brake balance is starting to get me. Turn it back. Done what I can for the wear. You're running the same setup? No, I don't know what his setup is. I hope he's not in party chat. Because he's there as the clown. Mm. But he's not.
are all fucking way quicker than me here. Just being deliberately obnoxious. Driving in the emergency stopping lane. There's weaving all over the track. But nah, he has his combos where he's pretty fucking good, at it, doesn't he? And, and he never gives himself enough credit. He didn't cross the line, what a dick <laughs> He did his burnout too early.
burn out before the line and he didn't cross the line. Yeah, so. Um. Well, yeah, he, he he would have done like twenty three, twenty five, something like that. Okay. Um, is that good? I did. Yeah, it is. I... Definitely. I guess the reason you might struggle at a track like this is if your driving style is kind of more reactionary. Um, whereas to be fast on this track, you need to be like super precise. Whereas yeah. maybe usually you're like more, you're more, I guess, this maybe is not the right word, like reckless where you're like turn-ins and stuff and then you can like react to it and on a normal track you have that like more margin of error to, to be able to react to things and still be quick. Whereas on a track like this, it's, yeah, you don't have that margin of error. So it's like more advantageous to drivers who get that initial turn-in very precise. That's basically why I chose the Porsche over the Ferrari because I felt like the Porsche was more predictable with the way it turned into the corners and stuff. Whereas the Ferrari, every time you turned in, it was like a little bit different. Yeah, and banging off the walls and shit. Yeah, it just made it more likely that you were going to like hit a wall because you had to react to the car every time and because the car was doing something different every time unless your reactions are like alien level perfect. You're just gonna like make mistakes. Dinner time. Funny, a Japanese driver came into one of Dan's streams the other night mm. and wrote something in Japanese in the chat. Mm. And Dan was like, I would appreciate it if you could translate that to English. And the guy didn't say anything. So I went to Google Translate and like mm -hmm. copy and paste it in. And it was just in Japanese, uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Jerkin? Oh gross, this coke went completely flat. I'm gonna have to tip it out. I've got a new bottle. So I was watching a George Carlin stand up thing mm. last night on YouTube, just like came up, random recommendation, so you know, had nothing else to click on it, right? And it's funny, he's there like making fun of baby boomers and it's all the kind of stuff that we say now about millennials. Millennials. Yeah. About how like yeah, they're entitled, they want everything, and then it's like, oh, they're soy lattes, blah blah blah. It's it's so funny how it's just it's the exact shit that now people say about millennials. It just shows that none of none of this really is different than anything we've faced before. It's always the older generation thinks the younger yeah, generation. Yeah, it was the dude it was entitled. the same in the sixties. I've seen docos about this shit. Yeah. It's what bought. Yeah. It's what gave birth to hippie culture. Yeah. And back then, like they were probably the ones that were actually like legitimately like they they realized you know it was a high society thing. It was a fucking political thing. Like everything in life was just kind of you know molded to kind of send you out in a certain way. Um, and they rebelled. Like they created fucking counterculture. Like. By the way, have you seen the trial of the Chicago Nine? Yes, the movie. Chicago Seven or the Doco? The Chicago Seven. Uh, yes, with Sasha. Yeah, yeah he was, I loved that movie. Loved it. Yeah, and that's really that's movie was really. all about that. Was all no. about that. Yeah, like really how amazing. and 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 that's where like the um, what's his name's character, the fucking pretty boy, um, Redmayne. Um, his character was like. Um, yeah, um, his character was basically the upper class blue collar, um, the rich boy that was kind of, you know, also realizing that the system was fucked. Um, like, you know, when he was protesting for whatever his reasons were, then you got the Barry, um, I can't remember his last name, but the Black Power dude, and that's fucked up everything he goes through. Um, yeah. his story in itself is like a fucking, 
incredible story. Um, yeah, good movie. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. Love a good courtroom drama, and I love uh, oh, Mark three, Rylance. Man. I love Mark Rylance. Like him playing their lawyer. Um, mm-hmm. He was just a beautiful soul as their lawyer. Um, yeah, I really like him as well. The only other movie I've ever he's seen in, he's in Don't Look Up, and he's fucking hilarious. He plays the best parody. Oh of, yeah, um, he is. In, he is in Don't Look Up, isn't he? He yeah, plays the parody of Steve Jobs yeah. and Elon Musk, and it's so just um, his teeth alone. Oh yeah. Uh, you, but no, the other movie, you die the other being movie eaten really... by a borlack. We don't know what it means. <laughs> the other movie I really enjoy him in is Bridge of Spies. He's good in Ready Player One too. He plays like the the, the gamekeeper in Ready Player One. Um, but yeah, I really like him as an actor. He's just in the last few years, he's he's become like he's he will become like the new Michael um, Caton. Like when Michael Caton dies, that's that's the role that guy will fulfil. Like the the old man fucking mentor. Soft spoken mentor. Um, I don't think I've seen that lousy Mr. In Between. I've seen the in between us. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. The British <laughs> lads. Yeah. Oh god. You don't like it? Um, no, I think they're, I just, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes they don't like fun things because of how stupid they are. Taz Reset pops up in these lobbies a lot. Yeah, yeah, he has been coming a lot. Mr. Mercedes, what's that? Mr. Mercedes, talking about Gav. Hmm. Drama series. Oh yeah, he's great. Yeah, I love him too, Gav. Um, I haven't seen that, but um, fuck, what's his name? Timothy something. Um, Timothy Elephant. Uh, Brendan Gleeson, Brendan Gleeson, uh, old Irish dude, um, he's in heaps of movies, brilliant actor. Tell you who I'm looking forward to getting to watch over the next fucking 40, 50 years, whatever, if he chooses to do so, is, um, Timothy Olyphant, Philip, Se- yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. I haven't seen him in anything, but I've seen the pictures of him. He, he looks like he's got the the knack. He's in um, he's in Licorice Pizza, which I just saw several weeks ago. Yeah, he's really good. I watched Doom finally. I enjoyed it. It's definitely like I had no idea about any of Doom going in. Um, oh, me too. But I I still like I, I found it fascinating in parts especially like all the different um cultures um yeah. i definitely i definitely want to see more of fucking scars guards character um big giant fucking human slug fucking jab of the heart fucking motherfucker um yeah. did you enjoy the six minutes of zendaya slow motion turning around and smiling ah oh, with all the flashes of her yeah obviously i Is feel like that much of it with... I thought that a movie could have done with like showing that twice, not having in yeah. total six minutes of it. Yeah. That was a bit rough. She's very pretty though. Oh yeah, she's pretty in like a dirty kind of way. In that. Um, the only two things but he was badass in it. Is... He was like legitimately badass in it. Um, um, Salome. Yeah, Charlemagne. Charlemagne. like a good, Charlemagne. a good, a like assert- his character though, I mean, like he was a assert- like, considering like, and they, they really did like reap on you the, the weight of his character very early, um, yep. but I thought like even the chopper scene with, you know, like kind of halfway through the movie with his mum, um, you know, he was yeah, fully was like, even though his mum had like fucking put him through these fucking trials and shit, like he was, he was a very level headed in that scene and that would be a situation where you'd just be like we're gonna die um and i thought he was sick there and then the fight at the end of it i was also very like it felt like the movie very suddenly 
um, ended. With yeah, I had I had no idea that it was like only I, I still available. thought like because I didn't know how long it was either. I genuinely thought there'd still be like another hour after that. You know. Like, yeah, I was kind of like getting like it was getting like to that kind of two and a half hour, two minute, two hour forty mark, and I was like, is this gonna end? Like, is that? Is this gonna be like part one? What? what? What's going on? And then yeah, then it like ends, and I'm like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, because I really was like looking forward to them like reading the books after having seen it, but I'm not gonna read a book until after I've seen them. I definitely have Leoncy, but what else is there to do, mate? I'm not gonna worry about dailies. What did Leoncy say? <laughs> Haven't you guys had enough of this truck after the other day? <sighs> Hey, to be fair, I'm not, I haven't driven it other than this four laps on controller. Schumacher X. Another German? No, it's Czech driver. But a lot of Germans in um, Czech Republic, so it could be German just to look at a Czech account. Say, member list. Yeah, big driver. User, user Can't get over how fucking legit Uncharted looks, albeit, you know, that he's so much younger than Nathan Drake. That's for like Holland, right? Yeah, yeah, and Mark. And like Mark. they, you know, when uh, Wahlberg, Marky Mark, um, and kind of when you see him in their respective roles, you could definitely, because like, honestly, Holland, like, he looks like 15, but he's actually like 30. Um, so I guess they'll probably make him like, you know, 20, 21, at best, like just fresh out of uni or something. Um, but Mark Wahlberg's got some eternal fount of youth thing, um, and still looks oh, yeah. like... Him and him and Paul, didn't you know the story about this? Him and him Paul, Paul Rudd, 100%. And they cut its neck and drank its blood. Um, I imagine Matt Damon kind of go in the same pool too. Like, I used to think about Brad Pitt, but finally, after 50, he's showing, showing his age. Yeah, he looks, he looks fairly aged in um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but I mean, he still looks good. And, um, 12 Years a Slave. I don't know. Was he in that, wasn't he? Yes, he's the Canadian at the end that basically essentially know. rescues the guy. I've he's seen the, the movie. They, they build, they, he's the guy that, it's like the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. He, they build a like a, a gazebo together. Um, yeah. The one thing I remember about that movie is it being fucking long. Just it is. Long, but it's a good movie. It's long, actually long. like it's not. I don't mean this in like a fucking stupid way, but it's one of my favourite movies. Okay. Like I think I think it's an incredible movie. Um, uh, Cumberbatch is really good in it. It's the what, Michael Fassbender man. Like I, it's it takes a lot to make me hate him and huh? yeah i hate him in that movie you know so that's you still haven't watched the steve jobs movie with fassbender in it right no no you gotta watch that that's like his best performance in my opinion absolutely incredible yeah i've heard he got a good portrayal of it better than what was the other one ashton kutcher or something wasn't it Well, I, yeah, I, I'm not big on Apple either, man. I'm, I think they're a big yeah. cash cow fucking conglomerate. But yeah, it's a shame that people will probably, yeah, never watch that movie because of that. I understand when... the entrepreneur aspect of it. I watched both the Facebook movies and enjoyed both of them, to be honest. Um, I think the Andrew Sorry. Garfield one's the better one. What's um, the other one? There's two. There's one... Um, fuck, look up. There's two Facebook movies, man. Yeah, I mean, Social Network is, uh, yeah, again, there's, there's another, another one, one of my favourite movies. That is a great movie. Highly rewatchable as well. And yeah, I haven't seen the last Bond yet. I haven't seen it, but I'm keen. 
Yeah, I enjoyed Lost Bond. Um, and I've, I've idolised uh, Bond growing up, and Daniel Craig has definitely like reinvented the the mould of what a Bond can be. Um, just from day one, like Casino Royale is still probably you know my my first or second favourite movie in all of them. I have the controversial opinion that, well, at least my favourite James Bond movie is actually Quantum of Solace. Oh, God, no wonder. I thought when you said controversy, I'm like, don't say Quantum. No, don't. I loved, Quantum. I loved it. I thought it was like, yeah. Are you just an Olga stan? I like Olga, yeah. But I, yeah. I like that movie. I, like, um, I like Hitman as well, which is in that too. That's a good yeah, like, um, combo. I'm thinking you're biased it. then. I'm thinking Olga's uh, stole your votes there. No, nah, I mean, she's she's not. Well, I, who, I who's like the her, first one? Um, Eva Green's the girl in uh, Casino. Um, Eva Green, is that And like I'm not the, even the biggest the Eva Green fan. She's 300. Penny, money, money, penny, or whatever. Um, no, the one who dies. Um, in the... Gets in the underwater the, thing. In the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Money penny. Isn't that her name? No, she wasn't Money Penny. Oh, whoever. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. Um, her name was like fucking something Von Lars or some shit like that. Tra Treo Von I don't know shit. But it's still like, because even in the last movie, apparently, there's a throwback to it where he goes and visits her grave. Yeah. You know, continuity in a James Bond movie. Yay. Continuity in a whole fucking, you know, what they do in the end. Five of them. Pretty good. Yes, Casino, Quantum, Skyfall... If, if there's Spectre, one thing that the series will mostly be remembered for, for me though, is having like the greatest casting ever for their villains and then making the villains not so memorable. With the yeah, exception of um, Javier all Bardem's all one. Javier Bardem's one was the only one I really, really liked, and then Mads in the first one. Mads was great in the first one. But like, just Lashif. knowing that he yeah, plays Lashif, like a, Lashif, a shadow. Yeah, was good. Um, the Quantum Solace dude, I didn't like him. Uh, I like him. They wasted uh, Christopher Waltz. Um, yeah. I liked Bardem, and I haven't seen the new guy, which is the iRobot dude, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Remy. Freddie Mercury. Um, it's like Hans Landa is perhaps the best movie villain ever, and then it's like yeah, they tried to get him three to make years that, later but they make Bonds. With, like they make a Bond movie with him as the villain, and it's just like forgettable. Yeah, look, I grew up with the. I mean, I grew up with all the Bonds, but the Pierce Brosnan Bond. I mean, Goldeneye was the greatest thing in the world when I was a kid, and I enjoyed a lot of his other movies. Um, I, I, I liked Pierce Brosnan as a Bond growing up as a kid, um, but the main Bond ever was still at that time for me, like Sean Connery, hundred um, percent. Daniel Craig would be the only one now that I would say would come close or eclipse. But like Bond, like in that era too, like Sean Connery playing it was like, if, if he did I know shit like that today, he'd be fucking lynched. Isn't a Bond quote the greatest Sean Connery quote? You don't bring a knife to a second best. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Stanley, uh, The Rock. The right uh, but no, you don't bring a knife to a, a gunfight. <laughs> Untouchables. Oh, I didn't mean that. Sorry. That happens so often. You like? You think that they would have picked up that up on testing for this game? Like, don't move the menu position of Star Chat. Come on, let me quit. Yeah, it doesn't let you do it until it starts the auto drive. Hey, hey, hey. Where's your stream? Who's that bogan fuck? Uh, what have we got here? The plan, everyone, is daily C, no quality from the back. Yada, yada, yada. 
Yeah, what the big boys are doing, I imagine, right now. No, yeah. it's just Kenty's Discord, because he does a stream on Monday, where usually he does the new daily races. But, uh, yeah, group two from the back at Suzuka. Ugh, enjoy that. Dirty air, my friends. Dirty air. Dan Holland got the Asia record for the Red Bull at La Apparently, like two minutes before it ended, or something like that. Nice. <laughs> and he drove out of the pits backwards to ram people. <laughs> oh, great video. 100% that's going to be idiot of the week. Like, 100% that's going to be on idiot of the week. Yeah. But they won't know it's him. No, everyone knows that it's him. They beat Danny. I mean, that's quite a top four there. Dan, Danny, Andrew, and Matthew. Actually, uh, the other lads won't know... I don't know who this um, Japanese driver is in fifth. I, 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 Dedis Cone 9K. I don't, don't recognize his name. 80th K driver though, so. Shows. I don't know shit about who's who. I'll say Takari, know him. CX3 GTR in 8th. Sharky got top 10. Well done, Sharky. Who else we got? Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's not it. John, 50 seconds. Corey, 79. Green Goldfish, 88. Shingling, 119. High stakes, 1, 2, 3. Is high stakes max as well? No, I don't think so. Paul of 12, that's a cool name. <laughs> Awoken Beast. Saint Nickel, 175. Freelix, Kobe Fan. Good stuff, guys. Everyone's How's a red the, fort. How's the top 10 for. Are you guys actually racing? Or did you cut out? No, oh, we've restarted it. Um, how is the top ten going for this thing? Well, I haven't looked. Um, I got into uh, it, and then I was out. So John is down in seventh now. Danny's account is down to eighth. What's tenth? Fast Phil is ninth. Bug Army is tenth. Yeah, the time. What's the time? The time is a two fourteen point two. So you're point four off at the moment. Wolfman with the 14.4 yeah. Good job there. You guys are both quicker than Hixie at the moment. And then uh, Gav down in 19th. You guys are certainly doing pretty good. Mega trucking. Don't Gav say that, mate. I'm not allowed to Turtle say girl, that. Turtle girl, 26th. Don't... Second split don't do good. Oceanic don't do good. We're a dead fucking region. Dead region. Where's, uh, have a time back set a time. Yeah. Is she turn this off? Because you can imagine she's going to be pretty pretty decent at this combo right? if she doesn't. Taz 
Racer sitting in 25th at the moment. K Youngster, 47th. Hyperdrift, 67th. Where am I? You're like 14th. Jesus. 13th, sorry. Brocky05, who's that? Never seen that name before. Sick for the moment. And John27 TCT. These are two names I don't recognize. No time from Dan yet, other than Cyclone Dan. Mountain Goat, only 30 But I take it everyone is in the Ford, right? Yeah, that I can see. I think John Sator's in the Porsche, his time. What's going on, mate? Hello, Brett. <clears throat> yeah, not much. Just chilling, driving myself. Did a few laps in the controller, which was fun. That's oh, right. Actually, I will give the controller a go with the joy that Ford GT now. Um, so, what do I change for the settings? Do I change the gearbox at all, Jester? Yep. That's the first yeah. thing. 250 at least. Try bring all your gears back. Max speed 250. Oh, what? But yeah, um, in terms that? of the actual tune, I don't have much going on there. Right. Turn well, the LSD so on. You put an LSD on? Yeah, and like originally left it just to the numbers that it was on. Alright, we'll do that then. I'm guessing the suspension you... I haven't done anything. Well, I've, I've, right now I have, like for the first time I'm driving with some slight alterations to the actual suspension. But my oh, time is set with like default suspension, LSD was tuned and the gearing is tuned. I'm just putting the suspension right up for all of them. Shame that's the way to go. Oh, the right height. 80 90. You don't 80 90, are you? So slow. Take off. better than the Alpine. Alpine. When you turn it doesn't like violently pitch across the road.
Where do you break for the first half in? The docks? Uh, just before 150. Big crash in the middle of the track as well. So. I think I could get to like a 218 controller.
on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, it's worth it, man. It's funny because like, the driving style I have to use is so much different than what I would do if I was like using well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump off, guys. Uh, you're just about to see me smash the fastest lap on the controller, though. Oh, really? Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Uh, 217? Yeah, 217.6. Um, but for the viewers, yeah, the lobby is up. If you just want to practice the Road to GT7 series. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, basically same thing. I was just kind of signing.